Welcome back everyone, I'm Shinigami Tabris, and we're gonna be playing some Fork Knife! Um... <clears throat> yeah! Hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, mine was a bit hectic. Uh, my Monday has been... Uh, even though I had the day off, basically, it's still been crazy. Um... Had to get a lot of things done around the house and get stuff done uh, with my mother, uh, with trying to get all the, the BS uh, with her taken care of. And when I say BS, I do mean BS because, woo! Uh, without further ado, uh, me and Corb are gonna get into some uh, fork knifing. I need the pew pews. Uh, we haven't quite figured out what we're doing for the week. Uh, I do know we're gonna do a day of Sea of Thieves. Um, at some point. We are probably going back to D&D &D on Thursday. Um, and probably do some multiverses in there as well. Did you do your login today? I did log in. I did, that's about all I did. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that in the store the other day and I was like, he. -he. I want this emote so bad. What? The one with the cane. Okay. Scythe, I should say. It's fucking cold, dude. But yeah, um, no, I had today mostly off. I just had, I basically did what I should have been doing on Saturday instead of working on my mother's house. Uh, I, um, oh, did a bunch of yeah. phone calls. You said that your mom needed to quote-unquote talk yeah yeah, yeah. oh this is something is this something that is able to be spoken over stream or no yes <laughs> okay so that talk is even more like ridiculous than like a lot of things that i've had to deal with her um because it was nothing it was legit dogs. nothing It was legit nothing. And the reason I say it was legit nothing, um, she, uh, what did she need to talk to me about? Because me and my sister both showed up, uh, because we were sort of, I, I will admit, we were gonna ambush her a little bit, uh, and try to get her to sign, um, the, I need the fucking... Power of attorney. Up. Yeah. And, um... She, uh... So, but the first thing that I did when I got there, I was like, Hey, Mom, you said you needed to talk to me? About what? Oh, yeah! Um, you need to write a check. Uh, you, you've got my checkbook, right? I said, yeah. Um, can you get a check for your sister? Well, there's my 200 damage. I started hell, but, uh... It was worth it. Where are you at? I'm with the You're bitch above me. Which one you want? 
Come on. Alright, let's go get the fucking car. Can I drive? Yeah, go ahead, dude. Since my, uh... Dailies are, uh... Hitting people with it. Where's that at? There we go. God damn. Ow. Why does it start off damaged? I don't know, but we're going to the gas. There's a refuel over there. Hold on, hold on. One of my things is collecting ammo. There we go. While in the, uh... In a car. Gotta be careful. Dude, this thing is... It drifts way too easily. It, it's used. Gas station. Huh? Where Peabody is. Oh, are people there? Yeah. Oh shit. Heal the car. Can you forward, go left. Out. 
Where'd they go? Toward that house. Get a player with a vehicle, so that's two out of three. Woo! Nice. Oh shit. Did you get it stuck? Yeah. That was rude. Downed. Into that motherfucker as soon as I saw him. Good luck, motherfucker. <laughs> he realized he realized his problem. I got all three of my dailies done. <laughs> nice. I don't even know where I am on that. Uh fire medium. Oh dude, I didn't shoot any of that fucking AR. I gotta I gotta visit both Rex Mill and Dude, okay, so I see why the hand cannon was so useful, like how I died to it. He fucking just plopped the guy in the fucking driver's seat with a hand cannon. Oh yeah, deck them hard. It's ridiculous. Okay, what do I get for dailies now? Survive seconds at sandy steps or reckless wellways. Eliminate players with a shotgun. Eliminate opponents without reloading in a single match. What? I gotta eliminate three people without reloading? Fuck that. Get a melee. Get a melee weapon. You know what? Hold on. Thank and jump. There's somebody at this place that I haven't met yet. That's an NPC. Okay. I have to stop at the, uh, the blue mark. 
and Lavish Lair to get a quest done. Okay. Dude, there's a ton of chests over there. Just a heads up. Everywhere. I see any other. I see other people dropping over here, though, so we might be good. Yeah, there's a ton of chests that appear over here. Well, I just picked up this guy. Nice. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, sorry. How do you not have any, uh, shield yet? I got damaged from that explosion. Oh. Alright, now I did. First player to pick up a legendary item. Nice would get. Uh, SMG. I picked up the flowberry. So I got a hand cannon, which is purple. I like hey, the hand cannon, dude. You do like it? Yeah, I, I like it. it it's, it's weird, because I have like a love-hate relationship with it. Um, if you would like it over... Because I've got that gold SMG. Um, I will swap you something for the hand cannon. It'd be really nice to have something else that doesn't take small ammo. Yeah, see, that's my thing, is everything I'm seeing is SMGs. Oh, there we go, there we go, here you go. You can have my, uh, hand cannon. I'll even give you the ammo for it. This shit, you know, like, the, my other two guns... Here. Are a, a pistol and a SMG. Oh shit, dude. There. there. That should uh, definitely help you with the. Uh... And another chest. Damn. Told you, dude. Okay, we need to head over to your place now. Look, we need an SUV park here. More than one. I don't see your marker anymore. No, oh, here. Thank you.
here, let's, uh... Well, we'll just fix this one. Get in. Get in, get in. Nope. Uh, hold on. Okay. Swap seats oh, over. Sure. Swap into the passenger. There we go. There we go. That did it. I was trying to get it to where you were the, uh, the gunner and I was the, uh, Yes, that's literally why I'm just randomly shooting shit. I'll take off-road tires over no tires. Oh wait, there's bulletproof. Now need... There we go. We're good now. Oh, that's the laser thing. There's somebody here. What do you need up here? Oh, I just needed to visit here. Okay. Uh, I'll get in quick. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get... There's a chest somewhere around here. Uh, there it there. is. Up oh, incoming. Sir. Did not want those tires, but okay. Dude, they were fucking wrecked. With the amount of times they got hit. Here's your bulletproofs, by the way. I got bulletproofs. Where's your next one? Lavish. I will probably have to do the next one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's already covered. Okay. Did you disable the circle thing at all? What circle thing? The, like, alert thing. No. See, so, yeah, I've kind of gotten used to it. Beat Neros. There. Knocked elimination.
Yep, gunfire to our left. Near the house. There's also a car on the other side of the lake. Somebody right below us. Knocked. There's another guy right there over here. Dead. Fucking hand cannon that bitch. Oh, he's still throwing grenades. Be careful. Yeah, he's still throwing grenades. <laughs> he killed him. Get out for a sec. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> I love how we have to, like, manipulate that. Ooh. Um, well, I got a flow berry. Ooh, gauntlets. Ooh. Oh, wait, no, I have a, I have a legendary SMG. Never mind. <laughs> Shots above. Oh, there they are. Oh, wrong vehicle to be playing with. Man, where it all started. <laughs> oh, does that not fill up the car? The gas? Yes. Hold on. Because the car you is half empty. You just can't rolling stop to get it. You actually have to stop, stop. What the hell did I just hit? Uh, crap. Well, I hit something that didn't crap. move. Oh, the motorcycle. Because I was going to go up that ramp and I barely tapped the motorcycle and it fucking spun my ass. Some sort of glitch right there.
Ooh. Not. We'll take your combat shotgun. Guy in the top. What do you mean at the top? Like the uh, island. Oh. Probably his friend. Probably. Come on. Oh. Oh no, they're fighting. Trying not to move. Oh. Well, I let that happen. Ah. <laughs> not stupid enough to get into that. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 don't, don't. Keep going. Left side somewhere. They're above us. I'm downed. He's coming. Nope. He's left me alone. Damn. Oh, shit. I didn't even see him. He's behind me. As soon as I saw it was closing over uh, Olympus, I was like, yeah, shit. This guy's using your SMG, too. He just stole it from somebody else that had picked it up. One more of these and then go to um, multiverses. Or do you want to stay doing this? Uh... I want to, but I don't. Um, let's see how I'm feeling, man. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm kind of hit or miss right now, because, uh, I, I mean, the food I ate earlier kind of fucked me up. Oh, you're fine, dude. We can, we can, uh, call it early and just call it. I was gonna say, um, I was saying daily. I figured by the time we hit, hit up the dailies and maybe a match or two after, I was like, uh, that'll probably be around the time we used to call it. So we'll see where we land. Where do you want to? Where do you want to drop? Lavish. Lavish. Yeah, I'm getting one of my dailies. Can do. Yeah. 
hopefully it's not fucking a hot spot. Nope. Oh, um, I need to see where the characters are. Where is the last one? Fine. Let me rephrase this. Listed as a hot spot. Oh, dude. Yeah, I was about to say, you, there's tons here. Um, I'm dropping at the front gate. Let's just get a vehicle. That's what I was thinking, too. I'm going for the uh, sports car. Chest. Are you kidding me? You are fucking joking, right? I don't think we'll make it over there in time, but that's where my last person I gotta meet is. Oh yeah. I don't think I met that person either. Yes, that is the one person I have not met either. Everybody up! Don't care, don't have any gun worth of shit. <laughs> There's people at the back of the house. Congratulations. We still like the fucking squad. <laughs> there he is. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> uh... Yeah, return to lobby for a sec. Yeah. I find it funny, it. like, I was on a mission to do one thing before the circle ended, and I was like, get there, talk oh. to him, get back in. Blap! You got it. Uh, it's hilarious, though. Whoa! And now I need a good pickaxe. Frieza.
And a good glider. It's gotta be semi-ostentatious. If you survive 120 seconds at Sandy Steps or Reckless Railways. Oh, dude. That's not too hard if we get a Reckless. That's two minutes. Depends on the match, you know? As long as it's not a yellow letter. Sometimes we'll drop them there, there's nobody fucking there. Ah, uh, where? Yeah, any steps are reckless. Don't forget, you have your transformations too. Wait, there's transformations? What? I don't even know what Golden Frieza is. I do know fourth form. Golden Frieza is from Super. That's pretty much the Super scene equivalent. Okay, because fourth form is uh, the movie, right? Uh, equip it. I'm curious. The return from Fr of Frieza. Oh, okay. Yeah. Isn't? Uh, am I right? Yeah, that's the like. I'm quoting this. This was his original final form. Which was the after he had died, right? Uh. He had it, but he didn't really use it. Um, until he until he fought Goku in the so the Namek saga, that was the the form he used for the final fight before he died at Namek. Oh, was it? Yeah, I couldn't remember that. Yeah, yeah he went through all of the forms there. I just like the horned one better. The, oh yeah, the, that's his. That is his original form. Yeah. I think. I think. I, I think. I uh, hold on. Save character. That way, I can come back to him at any point. <laughs> yeah, I figured we would occasionally run villains. Is that why you wanted to go back to the lobby? Oh no, I wanted to see my quest too. Oh, uh, okay. It's <laughs> on the only reason. Reach 12 players remaining with two eliminations. Dude, I had that earlier. Why didn't I get it? When we finished third? Two more levels and I finish the first level or first set for Scar. Scar. Dude, all I want to do is start the ship for the T60 fucking power in here. Oh, dude, yeah. Like, fuck the Ruiner Scar. I just want the fucking power armor. Yep, that's that's what I'm I'm wanting power armor. It I'm sucks actually though because I am gonna go and stick to my guns and go straight through the fucking play the, uh the uh thing though. I'm not I'm not gonna skip a page. I've skipped a bunch of pages already. I know, but I, I like well the thing is it's like I know I'm gonna end up finishing it, so I'm just gonna kind of dedicate myself to fucking do it. Um. I'm debating on spending some to get uh, Peabody because I know I'll collect enough to get uh, the power armor when I get there. Oh, yeah. But I don't really care. I think I think I got. Uh, you'll have to tell me if I did a good job with his uh, pickaxe and his. Um, Glider. 
Okay, they do have a Dragon Ball glider. That's the other thing. Oh, the turtle shell. I was gonna say, what was the thing that came with it? But then I realized it was a back plane. It's yeah. It, it, dude. It's not even a good back bling, in my opinion, because that should be the glider. That should be a glider. Yeah. See, I like the Frieza spaceship one, though. It's just... really? Once again, though, like, why is it 1200 fucking V-Buck? It's about as much as it was for the goddamn skin. You think I got a good, uh, pickaxe for him? The sad thing is, is I know exactly what fucking pickaxe that is. That's the the one for the fox. Yeah. The camera. I as I say I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it was like the almost like the mascot for a long time, except for the llama. Where are we dropping? Um, Reckless. Uh, I'm gonna hit the weapons cache up. Gotcha, I'm right with you. I got the fiber optics uh, coming off him. Nice. And then whenever he deploys. Boom! Throw down a lightning bolt. And. Fly it in. Very appropriate. Isn't it? I was like, the only person that would uh, think of doing this other than Zeus would be fucking uh, Frieza. I'm down here real quick. We'll Coming. Hit the barrels. There. No, there's not. Here. Chest above us. There's one across from us too. Was that? Muka. Oh, okay. Didn't we have this issue before? Yeah, they're sort of below us. like a middle wall somewhere, like there's a split section somewhere. We 
are not alone. Either that or it's glitching where, uh... this uh, med kit. Need a better shoddy than a <sighs> I can't say anything because I only have a green one. I thought you had a purple hunt uh, huntress or uh, No, it's purple crossbow. Oh really? I thought that was a gatekeeper. Yeah. No, I wish. I've got a green gatekeeper. As a reason out. Coming. One. Did my accuracy fall with the spray pattern? He's about to die though. Fucking idiot. He was more concerned about me. Yeah, I was gonna say. See, I don't want to give up. I've got a blue, but like it's got the thermal scope, and it is the one that's got like a shitty fucking spread. It's what you handed me, but it's better than the fucking green over here. Uh, eagle eyes. Incoming car. Yep. In! Fuck, uh, get those boogie bombs. Dude, that guy broke out of that boogie bomb way too fast. Dude, fuck off. Well, that was one of my dailies was survive so many seconds there too. service station that's an easy one because it doesn't even have to have it that empty to like refill it yeah. station and just drain a car. Do what? I'm 
mark a station that's like out of path. Oh. Gain shields at classy courts or rebels roost. Uh, which would you rather, classy court or rebel roost? Beginning of the map or end of the map? <laughs> It's it, what, what's the deal? Classy Court or Rebel Roost? We'll do Rebels, because I can grab a thing from here whenever we're done. I gotta get shields there. Dude, I was pretty close on one of them, on the Eliminate Opponents without reloading in a single match. I got, uh, when we had that one where we, uh, drove halfway across the world and we killed two people real quick, um, I killed both of them with the shotgun, so, like, it counted as, and I hadn't reloaded. If the other guy, if the guy wouldn't have swapped in and killed us afterwards, I would have been like, bang. Like, dude, you know what the pry counted? The vehicle weapon. Yeah, it probably would. Dude, I'm seeing at least five different uh, sliders behind me. Well, I'm seeing a bunch of them too. Dude, why is this place so popular? I knocked one fucker down. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh. This guy tried getting me with a fucking crossbow and failed miserably and knocked his ass down. His buddy had to fucking save him with a shotgun. <laughs> Dude, everybody and their mother came here for some reason. Oh, what the fuck. Well, I got oh, 50. Did what did you have to do there? I gotta get, I gotta get 100 shield. I got 50. So if I get 50 on the next one at one of the two, then we'll be good. Not gonna be fun this time. Oh, I can't just like instantly change. Um, you know, like you can do the um, Super Saiyan thing. You can't change forms with Frieza. It's not there in the... No. Oh shit, it's not there for me right now. Uh, wait till the middle of the match. It might be there. Let me say, it should be there. Insta-jump.
classy courts too far away, so... We already got one person. Two... I'm only seeing two so far. Oh, thank God, that's you. One of the weapons cash. Shotgun. Uh, go ahead and grab it all, and I'll be there. Um, end the mythic chest. Ooh, lucky you. Well, I always go for a weapons cache, dude. See multiple footprints. I gotta remember how to get up to where you're at. Here. There you Stairwell. Are. Make a right. Make another right. Up here. Okay, I got the pump. or above us, I can't tell. Or outside. Yeah. Below us. That's above us. Dude, they're all over the place. Shit, I punched through the fucking ceiling. What events do you have, bud? I'm gonna start screaming you kids get up my mom when you do that. Yeah. Oh, chase me. Yeah. Oh man, that sucks. Did he pop the nitro right next while I was standing next to him? No. Uh -oh. And I fucking bopped him with the the legendary shotgun. Well, what I was dying laughing about was the guy that I was shooting. Uh, he popped a nitro and didn't. Uh, 
I was like, do you think that's healing you? Dap, 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 dap. He just stood still while I fucking shot him. He was fucking clueless. No vehicle. Uh, I've got three guns. I've got an AR, an SMG, and uh, the pump action that you got me. Blue SMG, bl blue pump, uh, green AR. Do you want a purple SMG? Because you'll have better luck than that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll swap. Oh, that's even the better SMG out of the two. Big Billy Bass. Oh, I did get my daily that I was aiming for. Oh, wait. Oh, they did take the transformations and all. Oh wait, no, no, it's, there it is. Is it the? It should be on your main pallet, the bottom left and right. It's not there. That's weird. You might be able to for the uh fuck. Um perfect form to uh fold in Frieza. Another purple SMG. God Brian uh, Blaster. We got uh, shots near us. Because they could see you for a moment. Where's the uh, fuel tank? Uh, there should be one down this road. I'll let you drive whenever we get over there. To our right, behind us. Oh, they're at the uh, what can call it? Yeah, there's one right here. There you go. Get the uh, bulletproof tires, and then ooh, chests. Nothing good. Ooh, Nuka Cola. Oh, I should have gave that to you. It's all good, dude. I just looked at what your uh How dare you. We're gonna take the shields over the nitro. <laughs> I think this is repairs. Oh nope, there's a grenade launcher. Don't ask how I remember this shit. I don't know. Well it's near the the Yeah, the repair box is right here.
I need one more illumination to, uh, and then us get to 12. Uh, what we got. Dead. If they leave, I'll be right there, buddy. I'm crawling to a bush. There. Right, let's find a happy place and get healed up. Well, I'm as healed as I'm gonna be. Do you need a uh, healing drug? Yeah, an extra. More than you need. <laughs> Ready? I'm honestly amazed we ended up taking that onslaught and surviving it. However, that motherfucker's back. Yeah, so you can get away. I don't have those. No! Hey, 
Yeah, too far away. Too far away. They wouldn't have been able to see the point of origin. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm going to go for the uh, green drink of water in a second. Oh, I already went for that. Footsteps. Yep. Ow. Where's he at? He's up top this way somewhere. There's two of them. Back off. Woo! I'm running. to heal somehow. I don't know if I'll be able to come back and get you. It's all good, dude. I say, worry about healing up. There's a shit ton of... There's typically a shit ton of chests in this room right over here. Like where this stairwell is. Like turn. Oh, uh, okay. Here. So there you go. There's a blueberry right there on your lap. Yeah, I saw it. And then if I could find. Uh... This is gonna suck. No! You son of a bitch. I couldn't run up that hill. Oh, people are shooting at me. Just two people, but go ahead and up. Yo. No oh, shit. I didn't realize I was taking that much damage every uh, second. Oh well. I said that's where we call it. That's good, bud. Only because like that, I didn't, I didn't realize where I was. I went back, got your th card, and I was, and then I looked up, and I was like, "Wait, it's me versus it's three people," uh, <laughs> and I'm nowhere. They're they're shooting at me, and I'm nowhere near getting out of it. That was the thing. Very mean and adult. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Like you said, let me. I'm gonna change over to. 
fourth form. And then that should give me... Nope, still can't do it. Oh, that's weird. I love it. They're like, no, no. This, um, selectable styles... What What's the term that they use for, um... What's the Goku term that they got? Oh, I did not mean to select him. Hold on. So go to the shop, scroll down. Transformations. Yeah, Cell doesn't have a transformation either. You do have a transformation though, Black Goku? Yeah, I do. Yeah, sell and, uh, yeah. The, I think Piccolo has transformation with his. Nope. I'm guessing Yellow Piccolo is power awakening, yeah. Uh, Piccolo does have one. No, he doesn't. Uh, if you look at the bundle, there's an emote symbol there. Mm -mm. Daddy, you know. wait, what? Oh, it does have an emote symbol there, dude. That's. So why doesn't it say transformable style in his, uh... So the old, the old, uh, villains didn't get the... the primo treatment. It's either that or those skins were, like, the original skins and they just never redid them. Oh well. If I had the money, I'd just go ahead and buy a piccolo, but... I got no cash. <laughs> it's funny because like the, I, it's the the Piccolo transformation. I'm still like man with. Yeah, because okay. it's just going to gr like an orangey color. Well, it's it's from the most recent movie, and it's like. Just, just to kind of keep him on par, and it's like, why? Wait, so we couldn't just let him be uh, Yamcha anymore? <laughs> this sucks. Well, and you know, I or Krillin, Piccolo, Piccolo became the Krillin in the later episodes. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, dude, if you started watching Super, you'd kind of laugh your ass off because, uh, like, Brillin is a cop and shit. And he does end up coming out of retirement to train again and shit like that. But they put, it's funny because they put the transformation from the movie for piccolo in here but they didn't put the transformation for gohan from the movie in here so it's like really go wait gohan has a transformation gohan has a second trend gohan has another gohan has another transformation now oh so he's not just a super saiyan he can be a no, he's got another one. It's it's supposed to be the one that is like his full potential now. Like his, it's his unlocked potential. It's called Beast Mode. It's kind of like uh, going into the core of that like great ape 
potential. Wait, wait, wait. Be. I want to buy it's this. What one? Is it the is it the bendable unbendable girder? No, it's the fusion hall. Uh, you know what's really funny about that? What? <laughs> yeah. Are you waiting for you, bud? <laughs> <laughs> no. So I have to say it. Out of all the and and this is the thing that like. Everybody jerks off to to Vegeta and Goku. I was more of a Gohan fan and a Trunks fan. Uh, yeah, I I agree. See, I think the only thing it bothered me was they they made and, and they made Trunks such a whiny bitch in Super, and it pissed me off because. They should have stuck with what they did with him in the video games instead of the, oh, well, my timeline is fucked up again because of Goku Black when everyone's dead except for mom when it's just like, dude, sack up, motherfucker. Yeah, I was about to say in the video games he was like always a badass. And in yeah. the original in the original stuff he was a badass. Dude, I, I was I was talking to someone the other day and I was like, I really wish that they would make it canon with the video games where he had to literally go and work for that guy. Because I feel like he should. I feel like he should work for the Kai of Time because he did. He fucked that he fucked up with time so much. You can't say it's not his fault. Ooh, okay. What's new jam tracks? Let's see here. Uh, I mean, I, I've got the stream. Yeah, I got the stream to where you can't see them or hear them. Uh, Better Now by Post Malone. Zombie by the Cranberries. That's not a bad one. Zombie, zombie. Um, ooh, Sabotage by the Beastie Boys. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Song 2 by Blur. Uh, Dragula by... Blur for a little bit now. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's Sabotage, Sabotage Master Puppets, and, uh, what else? I am not in... Freaking festival right now. Um, the store shuffles around accordingly. Um, the three post Malone songs and give me everything. Uh, I'm guessing the top. Ones. I'm guessing the top. What is this? One, two, three. It's like four, eight, five, six. Okay, so the t whenever I first go down, it's the t the ten. So you got Pitbull. Metallica, Post Malone, Glass Animals, Rob Bass and DJ Easy Rock, Beastie Boys, Post Malone, Post Malone featuring Morgan Wallen, and then Zombie by the Cranberries, and S Roses by St. John. Yeah, which it's kind of funny because I honestly didn't think I was going to like the Morgan Wallen Post Malone song. I kind of dig it. Really? Yeah, kind of dig it. I, it's, got a, I, it's got a good, it's got a good vibe. It's got a good beat. The lyrics aren't stupid. I just can't get over the fact that, like, and I don't know if people were being stu uh, funny or like if people were legit that stupid. Where when Post Malone did something with Ozzy, and people were like, "He's making this person famous," and it's like, "No, dude, no." no. That's a generational stupidity thing, dude. Right. We're gonna we're gonna have to deal with that for the rest of our lives. But see, it's stuff like that that like always irritates me to where I'm like, I'm not going to support an artist because your your people are so stupid yeah. that I'd rather dig my own brain out and give myself a lobotomy than to like support 
this stupidity. Dude, I need to find this. There's there's a guy that does these shorts on Facebook. It, he does both parts where it's like the the new cover or the new version. And oh. then he'll do like the dad that's like, hold on a second. And then like takes over the Bluetooth speaker and it's like, nope. Somebody's already done it, bitch. <laughs> well, that's like, okay. So back, I don't even remember when it happened. 311 re, uh, redid Love Song. It's what? Early 2000s? And everybody was like, dude, I love the new 311 song. And then, like, some radio stations would play it by The Cure and they're like, man, somebody's already covering 311? And I'm like, no dumb shits. The Cure did it in the 80s, you fuckers. Or, or my other favorite, and this one, this one I give people a little bit more credit of not understanding it, is when, uh, for his last album, Johnny Cash did a cover album, basically. Um, and I say basically, he had three or four originals out of 12, and the rest work. Uh, Americana. Was it? Yeah, I was going to say, it's American something. Yeah, Songs of American something. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. like everybody uh, thought that he had was the original writer of Hurt, and I'm like, nope, nope, which, nope. I'm sorry. Personally, I mean, it's the best version of Hurt. It it it's a good version of Hurt. I wouldn't say it's uh, the best. I I I I I I enjoy the original, but I just love his tone. So the reason yeah, I say it's awesome. a good version of Hurt and not the best version, um, I have seen Nine Inch Nails live. I don't know how many times. Okay. I'm sure if it's live, then I can see. And one of my all-time favorite versions of Hurt, it's Nine Inch Nails and David Bowie on stage together. Um, because you get this like hauntingness from Bowie. You there? Yeah. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, it, it glitched out for a second. But yeah, like there's this huge hauntingness that comes from David Bowie as he's singing it. Uh, and he has the like opening lines of, you know, so you get the, 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 the music going and then all of a sudden the light comes on and I've seen it from a multiple viewpoints. Um, but I also have the DVD where they filmed, where Nails filmed it. And the DVD version of it is pretty good, but it's an all black stage. The song starts off and then the spotlight pops Bowie and he's wearing nothing but white. And it starts with him. I hurt myself today. And in that perfect Bowie, you know, way of doing it. And it, and then the next line is done by Reznor, who's all in black and like, sweating from head to toe because it's the last song of the set list um it's just it's it's amazing um i'm not saying that it, like i said i'm not saying that the johnny cash version isn't good or like it, it is one of my i like listening out of recorded versions not live it is one of my preferred um, but my Dude, problem I, I have with it is I, still that a lot of people thought that Cash had wrote it, and I'm like, no, no. And I get the the fact that you're going to be mistaken on this one because Johnny Cash has been around forever, so why the hell would Johnny Cash ever cover somebody? Yeah. Oh, dude, I hope that one day that, that there's a... I'm sure that he recorded a studio with that just... And it's been archived forever. Who? Um, 
What is Trent Reznor, right? Uh, hurt. Yeah. Uh, what what would be archived? The that with David Bowie. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know if they ever did it together. Like that wasn't live. And I think that was one of the ones where like Reznor was a little perturbed about the fact that he didn't because he then later went and did uh, I'm Afraid of Americans with David Bowie that same year. Um, where they worked on that together. <laughs> that was such a good song. Um, that's actually my ringtone on my phone. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Who isn't, who isn't nowadays, but who isn't afraid? Of, I'm afraid of people. Oh, I know. I've had that, but see, I've had that ringtone, I'm afraid of Americans, for probably oh, 10 no. years right. or more. I got you, buddy. Because <laughs> it, <laughs> it's one of my favorite. It is one of my favorite songs by him. Uh, but there's another song that Bowie and Reznor worked on, and I'm trying to remember the name of it off the top of my head. It's off of one of Bowie's, like, unknown albums. Um, I think it's Outsider is the name of the song. Um... But so David and, and Trent worked on a couple of things with each other. It was just one of those. Uh, I think Trent realized after the point that he should have the heart's filthy lesson is the name of the song that he worked with Bowie again. Um, and that was actually the album. Uh, it, it's only a remix that he did with Bowie. But they actually sat down and worked on it together. But that was the album that Bowie was touring to support with Nine Inch Nails opening. Well, co-headlining. They took turns who opened. Which was another one of those like awkward like, wait, what? David Bowie opened for D Nine Inch Nails? What? Nine Inch Nails opened for David Bowie? Huh? But that's how they you ended up with the uh, them doing Hurt together. They did a couple of other songs. But when Bowie died, Reznor actually made the statement that he was sort of upset that he didn't, like, do more stuff with him. Um, which is also why shortly after Reznor and Peter Murphy got together, um, the lead singer to Bajas, and Bajas opened for Nine Inch Nails... And so when they opened for each other, they actually took the time to go into the studio and do covers of each other. So there's Nine Inch Nails covers of Baja songs and Baja covers of, uh, or well, I shouldn't even say Baja covers. It's it's Reznor playing keyboard, Jordy White on bass, and Peter Murphy singing with Trent Reznor singing in the background sometimes. It's such a weird, like, combination. Uh, but they actually recorded all of that. And so there are not just archives. Well, I, I have the actual recordings. Uh, they were given to, at the time I was working on uh, remixes. And as a, like, hey, here's you something special for... Uh, and this was back when I was DJing a lot. Um, I was doing a remix for Nine Inch Nails. I can talk about this now. Holy shit, it just dawned on me. Because uh, my D uh, NDR uh, NDA like ended years ago. Um, but I was doing a remix with Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> and as payment, they gave me the, the tracks of that. So like, I could do remixes of that as well, but it was one of those... I'm just going to hit the master button and keep it. <laughs> You know? <laughs> yeah. Because when they would give you stuff to... When they gave me stuff to remix, it would be actually tracked out. So, like, here's just the vocals. Here's just the guitars. Here's just the drums. Um, sometimes I'd get the drums even in, like, multiple pieces to where I could, like, just take out all the cymbals and I have just, like, kick and uh, snare. Uh, it was very interesting, like, what you could get when doing remixes for some of these bands that do a lot of remixes.
Um, what sucks is like Reznor and and getting to talk to Reznor and his people. Uh, the way that they do it, they send like the everything out to so many different people, and was, you do me, okay. You do a bunch of remixes, and then you just hope that when you send your remix in that yours is picked up uh, and put on an album somewhere. Um, I unfortunately did not make it. Uh, we had it, the, everybody who was doing remixes, they actually had a voting site for us where it would post. So you would get, I got three songs that I could work on. And in those you can't vote for the song that you're working on. And on the album, it had like 12 or 14 tracks, but you can vote for all the other songs. So they gave you access to see who all was working on other tracks. And you could vote on the ones that you liked out of what you listened. Um, it, it was interesting. But the reason they wouldn't let you vote on other people's track on the tracks that you were working on was if you could access what other people were doing, you could sort of copy it is what they were aiming for. So they were trying to make sure that nobody could hear other people's renditions beforehand. Uh, but some of us still, yeah. we, I hate to say it when you start realizing who you're talking to, because some of us knew each other, we would trade tracks anyways, be like, Oh, are you working on this? Yeah. You mind if I hear what you did and that you just trade? So I have like a couple of the other guys tracks of what I worked on and their track and they have my track. Um, I'm not too happy with what I did after I finished it, but I was like, eh, too late now, which is probably why um, they didn't get picked. What's also funny is one of the guys that I traded with, we both went, how do we have the same song? <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, we, oh. we, did, we did almost the same, like, remix, and I was like, I don't know. But. That's how it works out sometimes, man. Well, uh, yeah, and he ended up... Me and him ended up working together a little bit um, outside of that. We actually were roommates in college, too, eventually. Uh, he's the guy that, uh, if you listen to my intros and outros of my streams, that's who I uh, co-wrote them with. <laughs> Hence why we had a similar concept, is we had similar taste and stuff. Obviously. But. Anyways. Um, I want to thank Corb for coming in and playing with me tonight. Uh, I want to thank all of you out there in the wonderful realm of uh, the interwebs for taking your time to uh, watch me. Um, we'll be back with something tomorrow. I don't know what it'll be, whether it'll be, uh, multiverses, Sea of Thieves, uh, Baldur's Gate. Uh, the list goes on and on and on and on. Um, but, uh, thank you all so much for your time. If you're new to late night streams, we end all the late night streams with a page from Go the Fuck to Sleep. Tonight's page, page number three. The eagles who soar through the sky are at rest, and the creatures who crawl, run, and creep. I know you're not thirsty. That's bullshit. Stop lying. Lie the fuck down, my darling, and sleep. I'm Shinigami Tavris. I hope you have a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you are. And until next time, everyone, peace out.